you ready to record? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're so close. No, I feel something coming off. Ew, what do you mean? <laughs> I think it's number two. Well, go! No, wait, no, no. I think it's number three. Number three? <laughs> So we're at Tandem Randoms, and today we're gonna get super close. Like, okay. closer than me and Carrie right now. But anyway, pooping in public places, yay or nay? Nay. You gotta go, you gotta go. No. Yes. I have a confession. I have a hard time pooping in public. <laughs> no. But I have really close calls, like it just all of a sudden, I just, I literally, I could be in the middle of eating and I'm like, nope, gotta go. I would hold it in. No, you cannot. Like, there's just no way. How? Oh, my ass is strong and it can't hold no. it in. No, okay, how regular are you? I go every morning. I oh, time it. Regular. I time it before I catch the bus. Sometimes it creeps mm -hmm. up on me and I have five minutes to do it and then I run to the bus. What's your time window? Around six. 6:30 ish a.m. Cause then I have to, I have to catch the bus around 7:20. So. So I feel like 86% of my conversations with any given person is about poop or bowel movements or something. And I think that I've been so blessed because nursing has just made me numb to everything. Like, I'd be eating lunch and talking about, hey, yeah, gave that fleet enema, gave that suppository. It's all about that nurse life. Not the nursing life, y'all. I went to Disney World and that whole week, my whole bowel movement, it wasn't working because of the jet lag and the time difference. So when we got to Epcot, I had to go so badly, I ran for the toilet. And that was the first time I actually pooped in public, in a public restroom. And that was after I graduated high school. Congrats, Carrie. Good thing I had one drop. This is really hard for me to tell, actually. I don't. I never imagined I would really talk about it online. But I was in college, actually. It was like three years ago, and uh, I was getting off from work at Waikiki, and I have to catch the bus home. And all of a sudden, I really had to go to the bathroom just out of nowhere. I went door to door asking, "Hey, can I use the bathroom? Can I use the bathroom?" Everybody kept telling me no. Like, even the hotel was like, "Sorry, our bathroom closes at 9. and I'm like, "What bathroom do you use?" I didn't say that, but. I was like really, no, I was really gonna put my hands. I probably looked homeless. <laughs> like, it was so bad. I was squeezing it in. It was so bad, guys. I finally went to this club and I was like, I promise you, I'm really not trying to get into your club right now. Like, I'm in my work uniform. I really just have to use the bathroom. No one else would let me. So I'm like running to the bathroom. He lets me in. Super nice. Thank you, by the way. I get to the stall and of course, you know, I'm trying to like take everything off. Yeah. I, I just don't make it. It just comes out everywhere on the floor, on halfway on the toilet. Oh I, you guys, I was like crying. It was awful. It, oh, I, it was man. so awful. I had to call some friends to come pick me up because I refused to catch the bus home like that. I was like trying to clean it and like I knew people were waiting outside. It was like one of the most like embarrassing times of my life. I was just like, I really hope nobody knows what's going on right now, but it was so embarrassing guys like i really appreciate like you should appreciate man elderly people that have to wear depends and stuff like don't make fun of them because this is serious if it happened to you you would probably cry too okay if you have a fun story let us know if you saw i'm just not the only weirdo telling her poop stories online <laughs> it's confession time confessions with ainsley <laughs> and now time for ainsley and carrie's tips on how to poop in public Tip number one, don't have a belt, tie, and button on your pants if you really have to go because that's exactly what prevented me from getting it in the toilet on time. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Tip number two, wait until everybody leaves the restroom and then you let it out. That doesn't seem feasible. You're going to be there all day. You're going to be that sad person in the stall waiting all day. Tip number three, you wait until someone else flushes their toilet <gasps> or someone is washing their hands or blow drying their hands <laughs> and then you let it out. Warning, just pray you have good timing. 
I will never sit on the toilet for more than like a minute or two. Like if it's past a minute or two, this is taking way too long. And if I have to push like more than usual, like it's no, it's a bad day, guys. That's why you take your phone with you and you start texting. Ew, people. no. Some of me and my friends have like, we send each other poop Snapchats. Tip number four, flush and poop at the same time. Courtesy flush, I don't do that, but sure you should do that. Tip number five, always carry one drop. Yeah, it smells so much better. But it leaked. <laughs> it leaked. It's not on my fingers. Ew. Oh! <coughs> that went into my nose. So guys, we know that was really personal. I hope it was close to your heart. I can't believe I'm opening up to you guys. On you? The yeah. That was hard to tell. Yeah, well that was hard for me too. We're just sharing people like that. But we hope you enjoyed that thoroughly. Thoroughly. And so like, comment, subscribe, do all those good things. You guys have been watching, but not subscribing. It hurts my feelings just a little bit. Not as much as that time I pooped in public, but <laughs> you know, still pretty hurtful. Do it. Do it. And let it out. Or hold it in. <laughs>